this beautiful thoroughbred to talk about the shoeing of a racehorse. A racehorse is made for speed. The greater the speed, the more they win, right? And so we use aluminum shoes traditionally on these horses, and there's a variety of different styles. The shoes have an abundance of nail holes. We use those that are most appropriate. This shoe has a traction device. And this shoe is uh, fairly pointed, and it would be a good shoe for him. He has uh, a rather pointed foot. Every shoe is adjusted to the individual horse's hoof. So this one's a little more rounded, this king's plate. This offers a subtle traction and a little bit of uh, increased wear, meaning it protects the shoe from wearing. A variety of nail holes, those that are most appropriate are used. And every shoe is shaped to the individual horse's foot. This is a fast break. It has a very broad toe for those horses that are getting low in the heel and their toes are stretched out because of their conformation or because of wear and tear in uh, their discipline. So this toe part is very broad, allows them to break over more quickly, taking stress off the flexor muscles, tendons, and ligaments. Since the thoroughbred is built for speed, their bones tend to be fine not heavy and so we're going to use a very light shoe on these horses oftentimes when a thoroughbred is born it's born with an abaxial rotation in the front meaning from the chest it goes out just a little bit and as they muscle up in the chest those feet will come around usually by the time they're a yearling they're coming around when I'm looking at his hind foot, I see that the medial side or inside is flared and this heel is run under. It's because of his conformation or his way of going. And when we're applying shoes, we have to make a conscious effort to try to help him out. We would trim more off of the medial toe quarter and possibly give him some support on the outside. His contralateral foot, the opposite foot, is not quite the same. The wear pattern is different. When we look at this foot, the lateral heel flares a little more. Less flare to the medial side. More symmetrical, more within normal ranges. He also has a sand crack in the toe, and that would have to be addressed with every trimming and shoeing procedure.